guys thank you so much for watching I'm Dr Linda Kramer and today I'm going to do a new technique to try and get some answers to all this weirdness going on so I pulled out my dowsing rods now these are if you've never heard of them before they are copper dowsing rods so you can go and google them they're on eBay for like $25 well that's what they were when I got them a few years ago and apparently they work to obtain paranormal answers to our questions. They can lead us to water, underground, and to other things. But let's see how we go today. Now, just remember, a little clarification um, disclosure. Dowsing rods are not always accurate. Anything psychic, it cannot be verified as legitimate. So that's why there's no guarantee, like insurance, with in um, psychic information. So please be aware that these may be wrong, but the answers today are going to be extremely interesting. So the first thing is, how do I connect with my dowsing rods? Well, they've been in my little cupboard. They've been inside the little packet for about six months. I haven't used them. So I pulled them out this morning and I've been carrying them around and just playing with them to get my energy into the copper. So that's the first thing. We've got to really connect to our dowsing rods like crystals or tarot cards or anything else that you use as a tool of, um, of obtaining psychic information. So I've been wiping my arms up and down them. I've been kissing them, sending them love. Okay, so over the last half hour, I'm pretty connected now to my rods. So how do we use them? We use them by holding the smaller part. And we want to try and not be aware of how we are manipulating it. Okay, we want the rods to move on their own. So some people hold it like this with their fingers. But look at this. I can I can rotate. Whoop, just hit my camera. Whoops. See how I can manipulate it because I'm twisting the stem. So I like taking my two fingers away. So how can I manipulate when I've got my fingers there holding it? Okay, so let's start. So we put it out straight away like this and we say a generic question of thank you for allowing me to control my rods today. Okay, so now I'm talking to my rods. Thank you for being here, allowing me to use you today to um, gain information psychically. So can you please, by starting, show me your answer for no. What is your answer for no? If you can please separate out, and there they go. Now, as you can see, I'm not moving my fingers. So keep your eyes on my fingers here, guys, because these ones aren't moving at all. So now, can you please go back to the middle? Thank you. And now, can you please show me your answer for yes? Can you please cross over? Okay. So now, can you please go back to the beginning um, um, neutral pose? Go back to where you are for a neutral pose. Unlock and go back to neutral. Wow, so there they are. So now we can ask them some generic questions to verify if they're working well. So the first question I'll say is, is my name Linda? Oh my gosh, there they go. So thank you for the confirmation. Thank you. And now please go back to... Um, where you were okay so here they go and I'm trying really hard not to move my hands here okay because I don't want to so I've got my fingers apart so there's no um, controlling them okay now something that I can say no to oh is Linda a male is Linda a male oh thank goodness I was born a female and I still classify myself as female so thank you for confirming that one so now can you please go back to the starting point Okay, so now that we've just verified what is a yes and what is a no, we can go down a list and ask some questions about what we want to ask. So I've got a couple of questions here. Now, first thing is, if you do have a question that you want me to ask the rods, generic things around world politics, world religion, world royal families, etc. Put your comments below. So when I do another one of these, I'm going to, pardon me, I'm going to try and do this once a week. If you like, if you like this, 
please tick the like button if you want me to do this once a week and also ask your questions um, down in the comment section okay so the first one is now that hunter biden joe biden's son just got this pardon will he get charged in the future for future offenses oh wow that's a yes straight away okay so thank you for that now please go back to your starting point okay please go back to your starting point okay thank you so much for answering that one about joe biden now let's go further will this happen under donald trump's presidency will he get charged oh wow look at that so yes donald trump's gonna okay so go please go back to your starting point thank you for that now will donald um, there's a lot of talk saying that donald trump is gunning for the bidens now is this true is donald trump actually gunning for the bidens i'm not going to say that answer but you can see what it's doing okay all right so thank you please go back now to your starting point okay now okay so i'm going to leave that one there with joe biden today and now let's go on to catherine princess catherine of wales okay the princess of wales in the uk question that i have been asked a few times did she really have chemotherapy for her cancer did catherine really have chemotherapy what are you doing this is telling me no now i'll tell you why i'm getting asked this one because look how healthy she's looking when people have chemo they're usually not well for a couple of, a couple of years they have liver cancer um, liver kidney failure okay so please now go back to your starting point whoa and i'm trying really hard please right hand come back to your starting point come back to your starting point please oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm trying really hard not to move my fingers because i can feel the core i can actually feel the rods moving in my fingers it's really weird but it's not me controlling them as you can tell my fingers are separated here okay all right so the next thing about catherine did she actually have cancer at all was it true that princess catherine had cancer did can did catherine have cancer oh my god look at that they just fell and they both fell at the same time so i'll just show you how they just fell out of my hand because i've been holding them up there and they both just fell down so i'm just going to push them back to the starting point make what you want from this information guys but i have been prophesizing for a long time cancer um catherine never had the covid jabs which is giving a lot of people cancers now so um you know the a oh here we go let's ask this question okay so getting back i'm just going to put my fingers back separate my two fingers so uh, no interruption here okay <clears throat> hang on get the energies right so they're right back to where i started from okay separate my two fingers okay yeah you know what i'm about to ask these rods actually know the question already gone through my mind before i say it so okay let's ask the photos of catherine that were publicly um displayed or published so those photos of catherine when she was really sick were they ai generated to show that she was sicker than she was oh <laughs> okay okay thank you so much for that clarification please go back to your starting point okay so now let's get off her because i've got a few more questions that i want to ask about things a couple of people have asked me about new zealand is there going to be a five point earthquake or more in new zealand before christmas Will there be a five point earthquake or more in New Zealand before Christmas? Huh, no movement at all for that one. 
wonder why. Will New Zealand have an earthquake before New Ze before Christmas? Okay, so that one's going to yes, but that doesn't mean it's going to be above four, five point five point on the Richter scale. Maybe I should have clarified that, so please go back to your starting point. Thank you for that. <clears throat> okay, will there be a five point on the Richter scale earthquake in New Zealand before November, before December, before Christmas? I mean, before Christmas. So in the next two weeks. <clears throat> oh, maybe that's a close, because if I say before Christmas, that could be next Christmas or Christmas 2035. So in the next few weeks before Christmas 2024, will there be an earthquake higher than five on the Richter scale in New Zealand? Oh, so now we've got the answer correct. So this is teaching us now how to question the question, how to write, how to word the questions. Okay, <clears throat> so we have to be very specific. Please unfold and go back to your normal position again for me. All right. So the next question I've got to answer today, climate change. All this climate change publicity that we're receiving on the media now, is it real? Is it real what they're saying about climate change? <laughs> and I might as well just drop the rods. <laughs> okay, so I hope that that one's given you some clarity. Okay, so that's basically all I want to do today. Just a short one, show you how I use my rods. Ask some questions. If you do have questions that you want me to answer, um, ask the rods, please comment below or email me. My email is below as well. If you do want your own private dowsing rod, you can always order a psychic reading from me where I can use these. Um, my link is below to get a private session from me. I don't charge. I only ask for a little contribution. I can send you a Zoom link and we can do our own dowsing rod information for you if that helps okay this time of year is going crazy it is coming up to christmas be safe be aware and most of all stay in love trust your instincts and i'll talk to you all soon bye